Well, uh, let's get back to the markets because NVIDIA is a stock. I mean, I, I, everyone loves NVIDIA these days, right? It's been a fan favorite for a long time, even though more recently it's struggling. In fact, it's down to most of all the top 10 mega cap names. Now, my next guest just posted a tweet a couple hours ago. I, I sold all my NVIDIA. With me now, IO uh, Fund official technology analyst Beth Kendig. Uh, Beth, what the heck is going on? When I saw that, I <laughs> fell out my seat. I mean, you're, you've been like the, the queen of NVIDIA. What's going on? <laughs> Good to see you again, Charles. Uh, when my team and I sat down and thought, what is the biggest prank a tech investor could pull on April Fools? We thought, sell all NVIDIA, because that would be the craziest thing for a tech investor <laughs> to do right now. <laughs> I think it would be. I, I gave a, a little thing in my town, in my county, a, a little community thing. You know, no one there was an investor. Or some had just started. And the ones who had just started all on Bitcoin and NVIDIA. So, yeah. Uh, you know, no one, everybody <laughs> wants to be a part of that. You know, there's also this table, and you put it on, 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 on social media from Applied Materials. I thought it was amazing. It shows this semiconductor demand over the next few years, right? It goes like, it's parabolic. And, and, and you say to yourself, there's got to be a way to make money on this. What's the best way to play that kind of a move? Stay invested and ignore the noise. Right now, we're hearing a lot of noise about PC units and consumer. But if you look at this chart, you know, it's enterprise, it's data center, it's AI uh, accelerator chips, it's automotive, as this chart is showing you. So uh, stay the course, because there's a lot of noise around uh, saturated markets that have been saturated for a while anyways, PC units. Who cares? That's not the real story. So sticking with the real story is the best way to make money right now. You have been harping on that, right? A lot of posts about emotion and mm -hmm. investing. By the way, mm -hmm. I, I love the topic. I think EQ is as important or maybe more important than IQ when it comes to being successful in the market. But the main takeaway, I mean, is it just that these kind of events you're talking about are temporary and when they go away, you're going to regret you weren't, you didn't hold on? Yes. Uh, what we like to remind people is you were a long-term investor in September, right? You were a long-term investor a year ago, correct? So what is the arbitrary date or the arbitrary reason that you would suddenly need to sell uh, in February of 2022? Mm -hmm. uh, so for us, we minimum, no matter what, I come from the tech industry. I have been doing this for a long time. You cannot go less than a three-year holding period. The ideal is five to seven. That's what the venture capitalists do. These are the best tech investors in the world. They hold five to seven years. So when you take a retail investor or an institutional investor and they look at a four-month performance, right. it's just not realistic. Right. Hey, before I let you go, uh, we're tight today. Uh, what are you buying? You got anything sure. new that you're looking at here? Well, it's funny that you mentioned NVIDIA and Bitcoin, <laughs> because we are certainly doing both. Uh, Bitcoin, we think that, you know, Russia, you know, rubles for oil is very bullish, uh, puts into question the monetary, global monetary system. That tends to be bullish for Bitcoin. Uh, we think NVIDIA being 40 percent off its low uh, ultimately is one of the strongest stocks in the market yeah. right now. Beth, thank you so much. And that was a great April Fool's joke. See you soon.